Good morning. It's Thursday. It's um, a chilly morning this morning in Colorado. I think it's 48 degrees right now. Um, I have on long sleeves and shorts, so it's just one of those days in Colorado. Um, I have had two things happen this week that have really been on my heart, and um, I want to talk about those, and then I want to um, hear what our conversation partner um, has to say about that. And our conversation partner right now is Howard Thurman. And um, Howard Thurman was a philosopher, a theologian, a civil rights activist. Um, he had a lot of important things to say and was really an incredible person. And so that's why we listen to him. This week, like you, I don't know how you felt about the um, the threats of closing the government and were we going to be able to um, get things in place and and our our representatives were saying yes we're working on it um, but in the meantime if if we don't the government will shut down and um, when I think about a government shutdown I think about who does that affect it affects people who are trying to apply for Social Security, to apply for Medicare, to apply for veterans benefits, people who really need that money. It affects mothers and fathers who need food assistance, who need TANF to get food, who need WIC. Mothers who need WIC to get milk for their children. It affects, it affects the disinherited. The other thing um, that was happening here in Colorado um, is today is the last day for Denver City employees, Den City and County employees, to be vaccinated. They were told on August 4th that if they weren't vaccinated, that today would be their last day of employment. And so what happened is there was a group of police officers who filed a lawsuit and said, we don't want to be vaccinated. And so judge, please uh, say that this is unconstitutional. And yesterday the judge said, no, it's not unconstitutional. You need to be vaccinated. And who do police officers serve? They serve the public. And I just don't understand that. And and it causes a lot of fear for people. And that's where we hear this morning our, our um, conversation partner, Howard Thurman. In Jesus and the Disinherited, he said, Fear is one of the persistent hounds of hell that dog the footsteps of the poor, the dispossessed, and the disinherited. There is nothing new or recent about fear. It is doubtless as old as the life of man on the planet. Fears are of many kinds. Fear of objects, fear of people, fear of the future, fear of nature, fear of the unknown, fear of old age, fear of disease, and fear of life itself. Then there is this fear which has to do with aspects of experience and detailed states of minds. Our homes, institutions, prisons, churches are crowded with people who are hounded by day and harrowed by night because of some fear that lurks ready to spring into action as soon as one is alone or as soon as the lights go out or as soon as one's social defenses are temporarily removed. For me, people who live in fear are robbed of the free gift of peace that God gives to each one of us. And what I will pray for today is that people who have fear that God gives them courage and that we who have courage do whatever we can to help those in fear. May it be so. Have a good day. Bye.